Já baixo meu chapéu aqui, então. Everybody who's going, um, are y'all, everybody up? Are we good? Um, all right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, we are the brothers of the great millstone, all right? And first and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor and glory. All right, double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my, that's the notices. Salutations to all my fellow laborers is doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. All right, the 144,000 and to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth. All right, among the heathen that look like those heathens, this isn't a black thing. And to the few Arkwaf that are listening and learning, we say Shalom. All right, and somebody real quick uh, started off, let's get that. Uh, uh, Psalms 94, uh, who uh, prescribes mischief by law. Because we got these people who, this is Esau uses, he misuses the law, all right? I got it. Okay? He misuses the law to, to, to achieve his purpose. Because we're considered as, as, as a little thing. We mean, you know, the people of America mean nothing. But go ahead, brother. Yep, this is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 94. Verse 20, it says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? A law? Right, so they frame with mischief by law, man. These people say up is down and down is up. They say bad is good and good is bad. And they, they also say let our strength be I was going to ask you to go to that, brother. Yep. So who hey, got whoever it? got that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, because they, the, the, people, the people of America. All right, for example, you got the JOOs. All right? And um, they, they control almost every aspect of the society. But yet, when you call them out on it, they, or you point it out factual, you, it's not slander like they do. Revelation, somebody can hold that. <laughs> when you point out the fact that these people control the, uh, they, they control the information highway, most of the major media is them, the highest position in almost every law enforcement agency, DEA, FBI, CIA, is them. Yep. All right, Secret Service. Okay. The whole cabinet, the whole. And then, and then they got, and then they got the, the financial system on lock, the banking system. Mm -hmm. All the top people there, for the most part, is them. Media. All right. The 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 the, uh, uh, the IRS, the the Federal Reserve, yep. is a privately owned entity that is not American at all, but yet is dictating American policy. That's right. right. Okay. And see, the problem is, is that. People are finally starting to wake up to this. That's right. That's why they're attacking TikTok the way they are. Okay? Uh, well, there's one more thing that I was going to say. I don't know. Oh. The media, they, they run the media. The they media, run the, 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 the court. Oh, oh, yeah. They have these lobbying organizations. Mm -hmm. You know? You, you, I'm not going to mention the names just to avoid the algorithm. That's right. But you have these, these you know, you know uh, these lobbying uh, uh, organizations. One sounds like you know, a pack. you know, like something with an A in a pack, <laughs> right? And, and then there's another one called you know, it starts with an A and ends with an L. So why is it that all for the interest of that particular country? Why is it that you have a foreign entity that has lobbying, uh, uh, think that lobbies to your Congress and your House of Representatives for issues in their country? And if you and, and so, what people start to see is that. Mm -hmm. Americans are slaves to those people and controlled by those people. That's, it. Yep. That's why they're doing whatever the hell. When Americans told them this particular group of people that we don't need, even need to mention, to, <laughs> hey, to stop bombing, he was like, oh, no, we're not going to stop bombing. You forget who your boss is? That's right. right. That's right. You know? And if you look at every, see, now Esau, their tongue falls upon themselves in so many different ways. If you look at, um, they got several websites that show any congressman, senator, and the donations they get. This, this particular organization that the elder mentioned, all right, that ends with the pack, and you can figure it out if you know what it is, all right? They are the top donors of everyone who produces a bill. Right. And anytime they are top donor of that particular bill, overwhelmingly percentage, 75% of the Democrats and the Republicans vote. And you can never get them to agree on anything except when them different lobbying groups 
come and put the, what they say, then they all agree. And when they all agree, you know it's debauchery. Bring it out. And matter of fact, bring out those scriptures we call, and then somebody get Amalek as the first of the nations. Right. Right. And that we will war with them from generation to generation. It's beyond obvious that, that these people are first in every society that they are. That's right. Which also makes them not fit the prophecy. That's right. That's right. The prophecy <laughs> says somebody get those. It's the prophecy says that the Israelites would have no voice, no, might. no power, no might. No might. Right. And right. these people get to, with the stroke of a pen, control every goddamn thing. Exactly. And if you pointed out the fact that they control it, you're just an anti something. Exactly. Right. And if I may say, and as the scripture says that we read right here in uh, Psalms 94 and 20, they frame it uh, mischief by a law. And then uh, the scripture that's in uh, Wisdom of Solomon that a brother is about to yeah, get, yeah. that uh, that it says how that uh, there, uh, let their strength be the law of justice. And their laws is clean contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments, the righteousness of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. The words of your one, their laws are doo doo. Yeah. <laughs> right. hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's it. And their laws, right. their laws lead to what's going on in the world today. Huh? Rape, rob, murder, death, kill, wars, envy. This is where their laws lead to because it's contrary to the righteousness and the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh that, That's what right. makes them a uh, profitable ruler. Yep, and that's why they're unprofitable yep. rulers. They're unprofitable to the earth and everyone that's in the earth. Yeah. And themselves too. So, exactly. the, so, so the people who are still for, well, you, the truth of the matter is that most of the people aren't even supporting them. And their own people, the other Edomites, are turning against them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, big time. Yep. Perfect. All right. But go ahead, bring them, let them scriptures roll. Go ahead, brother. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2. And 11. Well, hit one and one real quick. Read. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon. Two and one. Two and one. For the, for the ungodly said, reason with themselves, but not a right. So now we establish that this is the mindset of the ungodly, of the unrighteous, of the wicked. So go ahead and jump to the point. Uh, okay, okay. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 11. Let our strength be the law of justice. This is the ungodly and their mindset. Let our strength be the law of justice. All right? Just because they're in power right now, which Job 9.24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. Right? And so the wicked, their mindset is, oh, okay, since we have this strength, all right, we have this power, well, let our strength be the law of justice. Whatever we say. And then if we want to change it, we'll change it at, right. at, at, at a, you know, you know, in a, in a drop of a dime. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Especially yeah. once, once you beat them at their own game. Exactly. That's right. Because I, I have done that. Brothers, I have beat them. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, you know, it's a great feeling to, to be in a court setting and have two attorney generals basically bow their heads and can't say shit as I chew them out. Bring it out. Bring, bring out it out. how wicked they're being and, and all the things that they're doing wrong. And not either one of them can lift a word or lift it, open up their mouths and say, object. Right. They actually have to take it. It felt fucking good. Hey, what well, the scripture I have to admit it. Hey, the scripture says that uh, the most high can do a, 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 a mouth. Bring right. it out. Get the scripture. All right. Which, whoever gets ready for the first one. Gain, save, and that, that, and that, that, scripture, that scripture is a part of my prayer every night. That's right. right. And yeah. for the record, the elder been going through this shit for years, man. They've been playing hot potato, hopscotch, yeah. I hot judge for years. Con, I knew when they started switching the case from, from county to county. Yeah. In, in out of state, they were switching it from county to county. I knew I had them. Yeah, bring it out. But now it's just, and so now basically what it comes down to is that these people just don't want to pay. They don't want to lose. That's right. And, and, and the fucked up part about it is that, and I know I'm the front running this because there's a lot of brothers behind me that, that right. are starting to fight this thing. That's right. Beautiful. And, um, and the problem is, is that it's going to open up the floodgates. That's it, sir. And it also takes away their immunity. That's it, because now, precedent. It's because they have something called executive immunity, which I didn't know about all through this battle. The Lord has been, been with me and showing me all these things. And they That's actually, right. you got these people that, like, for example, if you've done something, they can, they can through, through, the, uh, uh, court system. through the court system, through the mailing system, through the yeah. U.S. Post Office, which is federal. Right, which is actually legal stock. They can send something to you, certified mail, and it gets to you, and then and hold that against you in court. Well, you could do the same to them, but because they have executive immunity, 
they don't have to respond. So I kept getting these receipts that it had been delivered, but then I kept getting rejected in the court saying, well, it hasn't been properly served. And so it took years to figure out that these people had immunity. So they were signed for it and see it and be like, oh shit, well, good thing we don't have to respond to that. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Until, until I finally, you know. Because there's always a back door. But the Lord put the spirit on the judge to say it in one of the, 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 the hearings. And I was like, ah. Gotcha. See, you know, and so every time, see, this is the thing. So my trial and error and my, my fight has done nothing but to help the brothers and help the body. That's it. Because I've learned that. so much that I can share and help teach and edify, and it's just so scriptural. Hey, the, but that's a part of, like it says, it talks about in that uh, uh, Second Thessalonians, this is a part of the signs of the times that we're at the very end because yes. it says that before the Lord comes, that it shall be a great falling away first and that the man of sin <laughs> be revealed. revealed. And that's what's happening. <clears throat> yep. He's being revealed. And so now... Through this, through this long, drawn-out fight that I've had with them, you know, it's I, it, now the problem is, is that this judge doesn't want her name attached to it. <laughs> so <laughs> after about nigger. after about fourteen, <laughs> they don't want to attach. Right? You, yeah, you strong, independent. Now you don't want to make decisions. Right. <laughs> okay, but. Now, the problem is, is that it does, it opens up, it takes away all their immunity. So everybody who is involved in this can all be subject to lawsuits because the one lady up and quit and retired. Oh, right? The, 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 this broad out in California, she up and re when, it, when she got hit with the paperwork, she put in her recognition. And had a, yeah, she put in her recognition and she quit. And then the, the Attorney General of California, I had to step in and speak speak on her behalf. And then got shut the fuck down. It's beautiful. All right. You want to get that this is Luke chapter 21, verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Right. And you've heard me say on many videos, for you brothers who you few brothers who watch my videos. But the uh you heard me say on many videos that there are two things that, are, that are hold, have been holding back this whole NWO. And that's the Bible, first and foremost, and the Constitution. And now and that's why they're making moves to move them both out of the way. That's right. Because those two things, without the, which is why these Edomites, it's going to be Egyptian versus Egyptian. Right. Because Joe Blow Six Pack, you know, he ready to run up in your city hall like like dead prayers. That's right. All right. right. Over, over, the, over his Constitution. God damn it, not my country, you know, not his flag. Right. You know, he, he, Esau was ready to fight for what he stole. Right. Okay? I was talking about some my land and my, my this and my that. This ain't your shit, nigga. Right. 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 Red ass nigga. Bring it up. This is not your land. Okay? You, you, this is what you stole. So why don't you say what, you, what it really is? You want to fight for what you stole. You stole the fair square, like Dr. Lisa said. We stole the fair and square. <laughs> he told me that we were having a back and forth a J double O. And I said, good, keep that energy, because guess what? We're going to take it back, fair and square. That's right. it. Right. 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 Hey, Manifest Destiny Part 2. Uh -huh. Part 2. I got two for you. Bring it out, brother. Hey, this is a rock 21 and 8. He that buildeth his house with other men's money Perfect. is like one that gathered himself stones for the tomb of his burial. Woo. So like the elder Malcolm was going into, she said, we stole the fair and square. All that means is... You would never prosper. This land would eventually you'll lose this land. You'll you lose your grip on the earth. And like the back of two says, uh, uh, they shall suddenly rise up against thee. That shall bite thee, man. That's, right. that's happening. Uh huh. And I, that's and that's another thing you said. What's holding the back is the Bible and um, constitution. constitution. They want to get them both out the way. Guess what? Even if you <laughs> make it unlawful to have a Bible, you get rid of the constitution. The promise of the Lord still will stand. That's Your plan right. won't work. It's Daniel two. And 43. Perfect. And whereas thou sowest iron mixed with Mary Clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. We know we got the son of God, the sons of the devil, and the son of men. A part of Esau's plan is to unite with the seed of men, the regular heathens. Right? But it says what? But they should not cleave unto another, even as iron is not mixed with the clay. So it won't work, man. No matter what you do, these seeds are going to hate you over that the first uh, two verses. All right, and you're the fucking devil, man. That's right. You can't help but fucking people over. 
You can't even get rest unless you make some oppression ass law right. or some violence, man, to put to the earth, man. That's just who you are. Right. You know, his policy should cause craft to prosper. Right. All right? That's the Epiphany's MO, because that's the Edomite's MO. Yep. Yep. Uh, a, a snake got a, got a bite. And the scorpion got to stand. They can't help. They can't help themselves. That's it. Why you fact, get, get real quick. Why you uh, get that? I think it's in Ecclesiastes, the 20th chapter. He was built with another man's. I built it. Got a tomb for his burial or something like that. Hey, he just read, 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 read it. Hey, hey, and the Most High God, He allowed all these things to happen, man, until they fulfill the will of the Father. You see? So they have a bounds that they cannot pass to go ahead and do all of what they're doing, man. But once they reach that bounds, that's when our Lord and Savior is going to come to save us. Hey, y'all going to fuck each other up before y'all get... Every Edomite wants to uh, uh, wants to be the fucking chief, man. That's right. 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 Nobody right. wants to be the idiot. That's God right. Don't you the part before you ever establish one world order, man. A kingdom divided against itself can't stand. You're programmed yep. to hate each other. All right. You're all greedy. Yeah. You're all proud. Yeah. You're all dogs, man. Somebody, right. ever, all y'all want to be the alpha. Hey, Tim Wise said that. I was just listening to a TikTok video with Tim Wise, and he was talking about the Edomites over in Europe, and he was saying all they were doing before they before they figured out that it was it was dark people. To attack and kill, all they were doing was attack and kill exactly. each other. Exactly. And the evidence of that is the forefathers before they even started calling Europe Europe, because Europe is in Asia. All right. right. When, so, but you go back to, to the time of the Ptolemies and Seleucians. And, exactly. Right, as soon as Alexander died, he's in my son and won't fight and warm. Exactly. Yeah, it exactly. says his four generals. Yes. All right. It says they all put crowns upon themselves. Right. <laughs> so, like, you know what's crazy? We <laughs> all kings now. <laughs> then we all looking at each other sideways. We became. We became. Hey, what kind of kings? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, Shabbat. Shabbat. We got Isolate this Cassandra. And right, Ticket is the one that's left off. And Ticket is the one that wanted to do things the way Alexander did. Yep. Keep the kingdoms united. They murked his ass. Murked him. They set up another <laughs> ruler. They yeah. all had their own fucking right. space. They man. murked him. Get your fucking no, We don't want to do that. Ticket is the one that's left off. Right, because it didn't wind up being uh, Ptolemy Solutions. Solutions. Uh, that's amazing. Right. Right. Yeah, they got and, rid of Ticket. And it was good. Hey, but go to go go to go to Rome. Look at the Roman um, the um, the Roman Caesar. You, you know, YouTube Brutus. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, almost right. every single uh, 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 Caesar was taken down by a friend, a family, or a, a next of kin. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The, the, they breathe. The, that, that's why the Lord said, it's "Understanding taken from team." And yes, all right. Uh, there's a wound laid under them. Yes. All right, all the things in the book of Obadiah said what they did, um, all they that um, deal with your bread is laid a wound under thee. Everybody who deals with Esau follows Esau's MO. As the king is, so is the people. Right. Yeah, let them precepts roll out. Run the host. God, this second Ezra is 4 and 37, just backing up like Yak said. Um, everything. I was on the two. That's That's spirit, spirit. Cause, That's because spirit. Lord, Lord, he allowed his devil to do all his wickedness to fulfill his measure. That's it. In 2nd Ezra 4 and 37, he says, By measure he hath measured the times, and by number had he numbered the times, and he did not move them nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So he allowed them to do all their wickedness till they fulfill their measure of wickedness. Yes. That's then right. the Lord comes back and takes the damnation down. That's well, right. And what we just witnessed, too, that's only something that when you walk, I don't see that happening in the other camps. That only happens with the great millstone. But, brothers, being this, being so much in the spirit, that you have the same increase, right? 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 Because of, the truth of the matter is, that most of the other camps aren't learned that well. That's right. And, and, and they don't. And most of these other right. camps, they don't teach. They got all these men, and, and, and they don't. They don't all teach. They only let certain men teach. That shit is right. madness. Because the men are tucked up. Because the truth of the matter is, is that I sit back and I watch. I don't always speak, but I see the communication and the things that's going on with with the with, you know with the uh, teachers and. and Deacons and all the communication with the other camps, all right? And clearly, these brothers are all up the park. That's right. These, these brothers can go out and cut the, 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 the scholars of the world and, and the, 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 the other people from the other camps, yeah. all right? I said, hey, well, the, the, the branches that's connected to the vine, which that is Yahawashai, the source, all right? <coughs> that's who's going to produce, you see? Okay. 
It says, without me, you can do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so, those. So, you saying Greg Millstone ain't got a pre sub packet? <laughs> no, man, it's the spirit, man. You know? That was the spirit working through both these, both these brothers to both have the same precept. That's why the elder don't see it in these other camps because the spirit ain't working in them, man. That's right. right. Yeah, because they in it for vainglory or, or, or filthy lucre's sake. Usually both. Bring, 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 bring it down right down the line. Just a fast one. This is uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. That's right. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Like the other Malcolm was saying, these Edomites are at each other's throats. All right, and this has been going on since they've gotten into power. Yeah. Okay, they stocked they, they the stock up all these guns and you know the, these homo sapiens yeah. and their gun guns. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and, um, they, and, they, and they and they and they've really been itching to shoot niggas and speakers. Oh, <laughs> shit. But the truth of the matter is, they're gonna really be shooting each other That's more right. than anything. Bring out your uh, person, bro. This is Ecclesiasticus 10 and verse uh, 10 and verse 8. It says, Because of unrighteous dealings. Injuries and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Hey, that, hey, that, hey that's what it's all about, man. That's the, right. And that's the prophecies of the Lord because the prophecies, it ultimately, ultimately leads to the kingdom of heaven. All right. And the last translation is from the wicked being in power, that's in power right now, until the righteous being in power when our Lord and Savior comes, take the power out of the hand of Esau, Edom, the wicked, and place it into the hand of Yahweh Shai and the governing body of the nation of Israel. Man. That's why it says, uh, he, he that now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Because because like the uh, like the elderman uh, the elderman Malcolmo said, he said that uh, basically they've been divided since uh, Alexander passed. Man. Right. So since Alexander passed, they've been divided since then to show you that the Lord has been keeping this motherfucker afloat, man. Right. That's the only way. And when he talks about Leviathan, no, it's when, uh, in Job, it's talking about the real Leviathan, but certain things can be attributed to Esau. Like it says, only he who made him can cause his sword to approach unto him. The same one who gave him that sword is one's going to smack it out of his hand. Man. Right, right, right. 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 Well, like as the scripture says, uh, the one that uh, planted the evil seed is going to come uproot the evil seed. That's right. That's how long we going to go down the line, brother? Go ahead, brother. This uh Isaiah 32, verse 7. I'm going to read from the NLT. <laughs> the smooth tricks of scoundrels are evil. They plot crooked schemes. They lie to convict the poor, even when the cause of the poor is just. Wow. Dang, that's a good one, brother. Yeah, even when it, call it, read it again. Yeah, this Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 2. I might drop that one in court. Isaiah, <laughs> Isaiah, <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7 in the NLT. The smooth tricks of scoundrels are evil. They plot crooked schemes. They lie to convict the poor, even when it calls the poor is just. Damn, that's exactly that. All that information I shared with you before the cameras went live, that's what they do. That's right. That's what they do, man. Dirty, rotten scam. Yeah. Right. Yep. 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 Dirty, rotten scam. You know, to make sure you feel that privilege. All right? Operating outside of their own law. All right? Go ahead, brother. What you got? Yeah, this is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 28. It says, a lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth lies. workers ruin. All right? And that's what, you, that, that's what you see happening with Esau right now, man. All right? Because he, he, he profits by these wicked laws that he sets up, and it's all to see even by a constitution that he so-called set up in the beginning, man. Right. And now he's going against, you know, this, this, this document that's supposed to be so precious that all the military swear in on, but yet you don't even follow that document. The citizens aren't being ruled over with that law at all. Um, because when I was, when I came out of school, you know, matter of fact, and it makes sense too, why you had, why you had to learn it in the eighth grade, and they didn't teach it to you in your senior year in high school, uh, as you're going into your adult life. It, it really makes it because it, 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 it should it should be a, a prerequisite to go to high school with. It should be a pre prerequisite to graduate high school with, because it makes more sense to teach a young man or a young woman the law of the land as they're entering their so-called adult life. They, they took, they but, took but so, it's so far, it's so far away from them. 
So they, they so it, for you younger brothers, did y'all have to pass the Constitution to graduate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, seventh, yeah. in seventh grade. In seventh grade. Yeah. So why the grade. fuck are you teaching a seventh grader? Yeah. All he's gonna do is, is, is play video games and just discover that it's dick work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What, what that do? It's brainwashing. So why four scores seven years ago? He ain't trying to hear that shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> right? But when, but when you were, if you were a senior in high school, 17, 18 years old, you're about to enter to, to your adult life, according to them, where you're actually about to go into the world. It actually will benefit you to learn the law as you're going into the world, but they want you dumb. Okay, man, man. They want that far from you. Right. Go ahead. This is from the website um, uh, NEA.org. Forgotten Purpose Civics Education in Public Schools. Um, I'm just going to go straight down to, to the point. Uh, they said back in the 1960s, it said, unfortunately, such a rigorous civics education is not available to all students. Now, until the 1960s, it was common for American high school students to have three separate courses in civics and government. But civics offerings were slashed as curricul curriculums narrowed over the ensuing decades. And this is what they subsequently did. They had certain trade schools here in Chicago. They took out civics, they took out the welding, they took out the carpentry, they took, they took out the electric, and they took out the, um, the home economics for the bitches, and they took them all out, and they refused to teach them now because they want everybody to be full hook, line, and sinker under Esau's vibration and becoming slaves and just service without being able to have... Uh, if you took welding and you became a welder, you can go charge anybody fifty dollars on, on up an hour That's to be right. a welder, as a, not as an apprentice. I'm not talking about brand. You know, I've been in here for thirty years welding. Right now, the skill for welding, carpentry, and all those other things are that high. Civics, they knew that's how they can rob you, and they can make you a contract slave to whatever they put if they just don't teach you the law anymore. You know, and it's funny because you go back to when, when you know. To like even before me, like when pops was in school, the, the, especially these vocational schools. Yeah. Now, hey, look, 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 man, people were coming out of CBS, mechanics and yes. shit. They were coming out of right. CBS going right into carpentry, yes, right into construction, yes, right? right? And building homes and houses and, 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 and you know, and then knocking up some young chick and having a family, and the family stayed together, mm -hmm. right. right? That's what was going on. But they took all that away purposely, okay? That was all taken away purposely. They took because yep. now all of a sudden they took away home economics because because of, because they wanted these young girls to be boss bitches. That's right. They right. don't want them to learn home economics anymore. All right. And, and look what all that you know. I'm a boss bitch has gotten the society in America. Now. And that's not just with Jack. That's across the board. That's with all these these damn uh, harlots in Babylon. All these yep. ran through gaping old ass. Yeah. It, 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 anyway, no, it, 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 no, but it's funny that you mentioned that because me and Barra were just speaking of that, and I was telling him how my mom had knew my mom, my mom knew how to garden. She knew how to fucking plant, plant food, seeds, so and all that. Okay, all that stuff, and and she actually enjoyed doing it. But these women now, they don't think anything about trying to go out in their garden and do this and do that. Like, bro, yeah, but then you know, my mom was also a part of that. I, you don't need no man to do it. Or they don't want the man ruling over them. Right. Because the, the brothers at the Jehovah's Witness Church taught my mother how to drive behind my father's back. Brothers. Right? Because my, my father would drive her to the store. My father would drive her to the laundry mat. My father would do all that. She right. couldn't see her get a bra. Right. So she she didn't learn how to drive when sneak sneaked the bottom bought the, the damn car was parking around the, you know? Oh yeah. So that's what the church. Right? And then guess what? Not long after that they was divorced. Wow. Alright? And most and most of them from my generation up till now. Most people grow up in a single family home. You yeah, you stuck true. with your mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And in she most cases, very thing. very few actually get to go with their yeah. father. That's right. And the ones that actually go with their father always better off. Man, mm -hmm. and, and, and statistics say so to the yeah. point now that's coming out more and more that. Uh, uh, a two-parented family, a family led by a man right. is more than any other family. Yeah. If it's it, the two men, two women, a female by herself, all of them pale in comparison. I'm talking about astronomically versus a man taking care of his own seed or the, the, the family unit as God prescribed it to take care of that seed. Why is a man 
equal with a man and a woman because the man because the man is the head and the man is right. supposed to rule. Right. And you can you can't you can't make this up. It's even Esau science says the same thing. Hey, real quick. Hey, it says uh Psalm, this is Psalms 82 and 5. It says they know not, neither will they understand. Perfect. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All right, and that's why you have instead of a paradise, you have a living hell. That's why you have, instead of world peace, you have just wars, pestilence, all manner of just wickedness. See, this man has everything and he still won't pull. That's it. Right. It's like, man, are you really, you know, there's a one movie, I can't remember what the movie was, but I remember just, dang, the guy said, man, are you really that stupid? Oh, you know what? It was from dust to dawn. Yeah. It was from dust to dawn. He said, are you really that stupid? You can't see that you already won. Yeah. All right? It's just you, you've already won, and that's that's Esau. It's like, dude, you won. You got the world, man. The earth is giving it to your hands. Why are you still attacking and fighting and fucking shit up? Enjoy your time. All right? Because you don't have much time left. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I'm just going to speak on that. I'm going to trade now. Trades is what develops infrastructure. Infrastructure is what helps you develop your own separate economy. That's why Black Wall Street was going crazy, because Jake was still in, involved in those trades heavily. Right. The trade's been around for, for thousands of years since the beginning, man. Carpentry, yes, well, some type of engineering, all right, math, you know, STEM. Metallurgy. These things have been around uh, since the beginning, man. All right, it's, it's, this is not our rest. That's why the Lord put on them fucking devils to take the trades out of the schools, yes. man. And now these, these migrants that's coming into the country, They've been they've been dealing with that shit from the beginning, man. That's why you got all them uh, migrants outside of Home Depot and shit for that cheap labor, man. That's it. Right? So so yeah, good. Right. That when an American citizen actually made a really good living from right. them, they, you know, they they will do it for less. That's it. Right? Because they're coming from a place where, you know, the, the little bit went a long way. So to them, they didn't came up. And, 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 and trust me, ten dollars an hour. Yep. And, and trust you know? me, these these business owners, shit, they I'm a man. And these business owners do not give a damn about if you got an American citizenship or not. They care about how much they're paying you. I'm telling you right now in the hood, I, at, at several of my gigs, they got a whole bunch of Venezuelans and they paying them under the table, they paying them cash, and they paying them less than minimum motherfucking wage. Yep. 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 You're right. Um, uh, was it Tyson? Yes. Tyson Chicken? Yes. They uh, uh, fired a bunch of American you know, citizens. Right? Out of Iowa, by the way. And they, they, they've been hiring uh, all migrants, man. Yeah. Outside of the fact 21,000. Mm. Yeah, 21,000 migrants. Damn. Yeah. They're so, they're so, yeah, so and they, they, what they're doing is they're, they're creating this hostile environment just yeah. to bring other, other chaos. Man. Right. Because these next couple, these next couple, Woo. next couple months is getting ready to be, man, I, I'm, I'm, you know. Hey, hey. Hey, that, this, is hey, this is something to pray for. And when, when we do our, when we get into the service and we get into our personal prayers before the Lord, I suggest that you all pray for the Lord to shorten the time, bring shorten the days, out. and That's bring right. us home. Get, 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 let, make it happen, Captain, and, pre and preserve you and your particular family and, uh, and the righteous of your family and the body of Yahweh Hashem so we can get the fuck up out of here. Right. We're sick and right. tired of being sick and tired. Yes, we truly, we are, we are all worn out, man. Brothers are battling ailments and sickness and this joint hurt and that joint hurt. And, you know, uh, uh, three days ago, no, four days ago, I saw mad chemtrails in the sky. That's right. All right, then that rain and snow came. And I was like, fuck, here come the headaches and the sore throats. Yeah. 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 Everybody had headaches and sore throats, man. Yeah. And then even the dogs be fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the end is the springtime. So now this is time to plant, it's time to harvest, and now I've got to harvest with all the fucking selenium, all the goddamn and mercury, all the, the barium and whatever the fuck they're putting in them, in the, them concoctions, them chemical cocktails, and that's coming down to the, to the ground. Min and meanwhile, you go to the side of your house and take the water holes that got fucking fluoride, 
got bacteria and all kind of other debauchery that's, that they don't filter out in these wicked ass filtration systems that they know is filled with these, these, these pipes full of lead and all kind of arsenic and bullshit and waste that's in the shit. So our food is defiled, our air is defiled, everything is fucking defiled. We need to get, we need deliverance, man. Uh, in Rochester, they just found, they said they had a boil order because they, had a, they found a dead body in the water. So yeah, I heard about that. Six, six, six months. months. Six, six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. These people, body. you got to decompose a body in the in the water supply that the people actually have to fucking drink. Bathe, drink, cooking. You know that? So you're right. So you bathing and cooking and you're trying to what the fuck's going on? You drinking dead people. That's it. Nigga, I see dead people. You yeah. This was dead. Oh, shit is that. And, then, and it was in there for six months. So you, this is drinking water. No one monitors of that shit. Yeah. You know, the, the walking dead just walked off and tripped and fell into the dam, <laughs> drink the water, and nobody saw it. What the hell, man? Yeah, what happened? It's Ecclesiastes. It's Ecclesiasticus 10, I'm going to start at 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. You see, that was so, so that had to come out twice. Bring the scripture out, brother. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter 3, I'm going to start at 10, and the morning is at 12. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, into which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall burn up, seeing that, uh, seeing then that all these things shall come, uh, shall be dissolved, so like it. Well, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And that conversation is conduct. How do you live, move, and have your being? All right? The most high gives a fuck how you act. You have to have integrity. All right? That's the reason why Esau, Edom hates us. The scripture says when, when the, uh, we teach our sons, uh, uh, the enemy agree with the enemy. So every time we teach, put these lessons out, Every time we pushed out this word of God out and published the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it vexed the shit out of Esau Edom, man. Yeah, that's what Long Shay said that the problem with the, with the sons is that it's too many Scots. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> so they came with that wicked ass law where the Scot, where, where the English get the pot. In, in in, in, yeah, they're coming out. Where, where the English get the pot. Any, any Scottish woman on, on her wedding night. Wow. Yeah. Wait, 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 I mean. Yeah. So these people, they want us gone. Yeah, it's a meme uh, that's that's going out now. It shows uh, some guys with a uh, with a Bible beating up, beating somebody with the Bible, uh, beating somebody with the Bible that with a rainbow shirt on, and the guys bleeding and shit. And this is what they're pushing, you know, trying to say that hey, the, the Bible is hate speech. But at the same time, in the U, oh, shit, the UK, you got all this drill music going on. Motherfuckers are getting stabbed. That ain't that ain't hate. Oh, you got motherfuckers talking about smoking tuka, you know, uh, uh, talking about smoking, uh, uh, you got young thug talking about killing somebody, mama, that ain't hate speech. Right, right. But, they, but they showing a meme. But the J-Double-O's are profiting off of that. Right. right. The, the, music, the music industry, uh, you know, controls. Pushing the narrative. Right, but you, yeah, yeah, but you read, you know, uh, 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 Leviticus 20 and 13, <laughs> yeah. the first thing that, you know, yeah, that man needs to go straight to prison. Yeah, right. and, 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 that scripture. and they set the yeah. precedent in, in Canada by already starting to um, um, debilitate. You can't say this, you can't say that. And now two other states in, in America now just saying, that, hey, if you say this about the J double O's, or if you say this or that, that's deemed hate speech. So they're coming, they're, the, 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 as, as the scriptures say, they're coming against uh, um, the scriptures. They come against the Bible. They come up with the great persecution. You gotta remember everything is, is, is a circle, a life. You go back in the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it was a point where the, after the, the prophets and the, 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 the apostles and the, uh, started pushing out the truth, they ended up um, kicking them all out and expelling them, all right? Those times are coming again where the famine of the word is coming right around the corner. But we're not gonna be coming out on the highways and byways anymore. All right. So All right. this is the times that we're in. We got to know what Esau's doing. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's it. Uh, I just wanted to read the next verse in this Ecclesiastes 10, verse 9. Why is, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such in one set of his own soul to fail, because while he liveth, he 
cast us away as all of that. And he saw us the most wickedest thing from the planet. He proud as hell. He think he got everything in charge. And he about to get taken out. You know, he think he going to put his M on TV and start his uh, end up woke. And it's going to be that. No, it's not. The Lord is about to um, put us back on top. And we're going to rule over your ass in the kingdom of heaven. Right. 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 Right.15, 20 years ago when we first came into the truth and to the point where we used to get, you know, we would get, you know, kind of tickled by it. You know, the Apostle Tara said, man, if I see you, we get two thirds, I'm going to jump over you. I'm trying to eat anybody just to go whip your motherfucking ass. And we didn't, and, and, and we would be chuckled, you know, and, and chuckling like, <laughs> right, right, right. What the fuck? You know, but now we, I get it. That's it. Because they ain't no black eat them ice anyway. That's it. They like they father the Exactly, they are like their father the devil, man, so they don't get it. Uh, can I say this real quick? Oh, go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, this is 2 Peter 3 and 12. <laughs> Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of y'all watching y'all shine. And the what scripture above is talking about, you know, uh, since he's coming back with this uh, fire, what yep. manner of persons ought to be, be in all holy conversation and godliness. Yep. So this is what he's reading in verse 12 is a part of being godly. That's right? Yeah. That you're looking for our Lord and Savior to yeah. come. All right? You're begging the Lord to hasten that day. That's right. See? To come put a destruction on this place that's ran with the uh, uh, unrighteousness and wickedness and everything contrary to the righteousness of the Most High God. Go oh, ahead, brother. Uh, it says, 2 Peter 3 and 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Yahshai, which he's coming very soon. Very, very soon. Yeah. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, oh, yeah. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Hey, and then right. we want to be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai to escape that wrath right there. Right. You see, we want that the the uh, the, 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 the blood of Yahweh Shai on our doorposts. You see, so that uh, that destroyer, all right, can. Pass us over. That's right. That's right. Which is the word Pesach. And Pesach means to pass over. But one level of the word Pesach also means to spare. Yep. All right. So we want to be spared. And the scripture says, so I think it was, uh, it talks about, he said, uh, and I will pardon them. I will pardon you. And somebody get that real quick. Because what we're fighting for is the pardon of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the sparing, the passing over. Pesach literally means to hop, leap, Jump or pass over, yeah. and and now in the now we don't want the Lord to pass over us in the chariots and keep on going. We want Him to come pass over and take us. Yeah. But when it come over to putting out judgment, we want Him to pass over us and That's destroy right. the heathens. And in the time of Egypt, when uh, back in Exodus the twelfth chapter, He said that I'm going to kill the firstborn. He said when He did that, they woke up in the middle of the night and there was great cries. Yeah. Great shrieking, great wailing, all right? I mean, and, and this is something we have to remember when wow. we start the service, that right now, if we were back in ancient Egypt, you would be here. Now the sun is set back in ancient Egypt over three to 4,000 years ago. You're here, no, my baby, no! And if you ever lost someone and you've seen someone low, over, and you, oh, yeah, he men, said again, women, men, women, the animal, he killed the firstborn of the cattle. That some people only had three sheep. Some only had just a few. That was their livelihood. Yeah. And the Mosai said, fuck you, heathens. That's right. So we right. gotta remember the Mosai's about to do it again. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Must needs be allowed to read this Bible. Read. Read. This is second Edris chapter 15, verse 10. It says, My behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. 
I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, so this right here in 2nd Andrews, what I'm reading, 15 and 10, this land of Egypt is talking about modern day uh, 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 spiritual Egypt, a.k.a. America, right? So verse 11, it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Oh, yeah. So as he did to ancient Egypt, he's going to do to this new modern day Egypt called America, right? Worse. It, it, but worse. 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 Much worse, right? So it says, I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And we're trying to get caught up in salvation and not that destruction. You That's see? Right. And the only way to get caught up in the salvation is to have faith in Yahweh Shai and his word and his righteousness, man. That white stone. And it's like that blood, you know, covering you, okay? Just like the on the doorpost, all right? Well, now it's the doorpost of our minds, all right? And, 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 and truly having faith. And being unified with the mindset of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's coming for those that already left. Right. right. Yeah, exactly, you know. Death is for the dead. That's that's who he's coming for, man. It yeah. tells us to rise and depart because this is not our rest. See, we're not invested in the society already, man. So when Yahweh Shai returns, then we're going to rejoice that it's coming. Yeah, trying to build. Life is. Build the community. Trying to buy houses in yeah. the hood, build up the hood. That, that's what's going <laughs> on. And I just saw that, you know, I, that was in a group message that I saw before we started. You know, and I'm just like. That's where they're housing all these migrants. Most of these Venezuelans that have already been put up here, been for a year, they're basically those investments. They're all on the east side. Shit, they're on the east side. When we camp. Yeah, 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 we camp. It's on the east side. So what they did is those houses on the east side that got bought by the investment companies. They're the ones. They're the ones getting those uh, six to eight months up front, since they're property management company. Then they're, they're leaving all over the east side, over there, Artesian, everywhere. Hey, 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 Asha, how, how many, how many are, are, are essays are, are not Issachar in Venezuela? All right, he 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 happens to be my boss in 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 in, in, in the world, and I'm there in the front lines, and you got. I don't care what site I go to and I talk to them. I, you know, me, me and my little, you know, Spanglish, I'm like, they don't dare this, you know, they don't dare this where you're from. Majority of them from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and, they, and, they, and they got a ton of them. Yeah. All right. And, and we see them I, at, 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 my, at the pizza joint. Y'all know the, the, the joint. They mix them and mingling. Yeah. That's and right. They, and, they also have, and they got also hip to the fact that if they have babies here, that yeah. you know the babies would actually keep them here because the babies uh, are a citizen. Yeah. 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 Right? So they so they talking yeah. about you know hey make 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 a baby while you're here. Yeah. That's it. You know? And some of them gonna even be foolish enough to knock up these Judai bitches. That's mm -hmm. it. Because you know they going. They going. You know the video about the dude that was talking about invading the houses. Yeah. 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 His original video, why he got famous, was because he was basically showing off his daughter, and he was like, "Look, I don't have to work. Here's yeah. my token yeah. to America." And that's yeah. that's how he got wow. all that attention. Going here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this is history repeating itself. Uh, are not thou that Egyptian that let us out a uh, thousand men that was murderers? You got Hamites coming in. You know, and Hamites been running through Europe. Yeah. They've been run when I say running through Europe, man. I mean they running through Europe. Motherfuckers getting. Rates and shit, and but I think half them white women be coming outside like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anybody around? My doors are <laughs> I just rocked my face. <laughs> <He's black. laughs> I, I can't defend myself. <laughs> and, 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 now, it's funny you're making jokes like that, but Canada just, Canada just came out and just said right. to their citizens, if somebody trying to rob you, if somebody's trying to break into your house, leave your key at the front door so they can just come get what they want and get the fuck out before you can save your life. Canada actually telling their people yeah. that shit. No, 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 at the same time that they're making all, passing all these codes and statutes to supersede the, the constitution and law of the land, you have the right to defend yourself. Yes, sir. See, you, you, should, you shouldn't have to uh, actually 
go and get a, a document to say you can carry. Yep. You should be able to carry yeah. because it's in the law of the land. Right. Right. If you, especially if, if you're a, a, a upstanding citizen and you don't have felons and all that other shit, mm -hmm. not saying that any, everybody with a felon is a bad person, but the but the point being is that if you meet all the because in, 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 in Indiana, <laughs> They don't. They, if they got a driver's license and they're not a felon, they can go right to the gun store and buy whatever the hell they want. Now, if you go back to the law, if you go back to the early America, you could be a felon, get out of jail, and still go get your gun back. All right, because well, was uh, there, was, there was another motherfucker who had a gun, and you had a right to defend yourself. You have a right to defend yourself, and that's under any uh, under the law of any land. You have a right to fucking defend yourself. So when you got people that are coming with statues and codes. Uh, you know, to 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 to, to try to over oversee go over the law of the land, and then they try to tell you it's in the name of safety. Because guess what? If you had look, like these guys are going and, and rob people and run up in, in, in public places and do shit. All right, what happens to a, to a mass shooter who's attempting a mass shoot when he runs up into a place and damn near everybody in there is armed. Come on, bro. That's, that's All right, what well, I mean, it's just common Texas. sense. Texas. It's common Texas. sense. Texas. Right, ain't nobody kicking in no doors in, you know, in, in Texas. Talk about, you know, you know and, and shooting up the place. Right. Because you're going to have, like, 15, 20 people blast your ass. That's right. Right? right? You ain't that. You ain't Jesse James, nigga. You're going to outshoot everybody. Else. <laughs> you know, fucking John Wick. You're homo sapiens. You're John Wick with Neo. You're, 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 you're homo sapiens and you're Y'all yeah. and shit. No, man, it ain't going to happen. That's right. So it actually, and, and that's what, so this, these people are backwards because they make all these laws and things to the, and the nature that actually disarm the, the, the lawful citizens. But meanwhile, those laws don't apply to all the to, to all the street element and the people who have the guns, which they happen to be providing for them. Right? We all know we've all heard the stories. I never seen it with my own eyes, but you know, I, did, I heard I heard the stories from other people. Some people have. Uh, them, you know, they believe the guns and cricks in the alleys and shit. Well, how the train was starting game war and how they would they would make sure that they left a, a whole bunch of a shitload of guns. In the, in the King's neighborhood. Hit the right? I was just about to say that. They would bring trucks full of guns and just leave the truck door open. Yep. There's so many different witnesses from their trains to the trucks to them just bringing yeah. crates. That's what they do. I mean, being in the hood, I've seen niggas with with, 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 with a fucking rocket launcher. How you get a fucking rocket launcher in the fucking hood? That happened in, 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 in Humble Park in the 80s. I think it was like 85. So, uh, one, 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 one of them teams. Uh, Shabbat! Rocket, rocket launched uh, a damn police car. Shit. <laughs> All right? That, that shit happened in the 80s. Yeah. So, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. I mean, all those BDs that lived on my block. Facts. I mean, these, 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 <laughs> these, them, them wicked niggas, I mean, it's like every summer they just had shit that I know their parents didn't get them. Yeah, it was right. one summer that everybody had mini bikes. Yeah, right. right. I'm like, right. where the hell y'all get all these mini bikes from? Right. Right. Off the train. Yep. Okay. So guess what? They all have done this shit off the trains, too. Yeah. I got free stuff. You bring it out, bro. It's like Zen 19. And, um, Shabbat! It's like Zen 19, 14. The Lord has made with a perverse spirit in the midst of the they have caused Eve to err and have worked their breath as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And basically, Esau is destroying their own citizens, man. He was talking about the Venezuelans and That's right. dude made that viral video. Of you, you come over here, have a child. He was talking about how much money he making to be here. So I got a brand new car, an apartment. Yeah. But then you got the other side, too. You got the Venezuelans that's, um, well, not just Venezuelans, just people. That's, um, the that's squatters in general. Yeah. The squatters or got nothing. Uh, the they, they sitting on the damn concrete downtown. Trying to sell chocolate and chicklets. Oh, right. Chocolates, chicklets. Mm -hmm. The squad yeah. was taking a house. And they hungry. Yeah. You got the squad. This bitch, in, the bitch in New York got arrested for trying to get her own house back. Yep. Because yeah. the squad was there. They, you can produce a fake lease or pay a bill. All right? Pay a bill. You, but you can produce a fake lease. All right? And if you wow. went there, they can't do nothing to stop. They can't turn the water off. They can't change the lot. That's right. She got arrested for doing that shit. Hey, 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 that's pissing Americans off. That's, 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 come on, man. And so, hey, can you do this to a Roman citizen? And so, so, so here's that. Hey, if you know these Edomites about the Lord, it's even worse. I'm gonna go get my own house back, and I get arrested. Yeah. Right. Brother, and it's my damn house. Brother, it's, it's not just the house, though. That's they, gotta be act, very confusing. Especially to the neighbors that know it's my house. Yep. Like, what the fuck? They did. They did. They did it more to the house though, too, elder. They. You. You have a box truck. You have a truck, a semi trailer, or whatever. 
There's people when if once they took the trailer over and opened up the back and went in, and then they people getting in the car to go ready to go, and they look up and open up the trailer and they saw people there. They called the police, and the police is like, oh, there's nothing we can do. There's people in there, so you know and they had to stop. And, and they made them not drive away. Made said you cannot do anything unless they leave. They have to be there. And your car, and your vehicle, and your trailer is nothing you can fucking do. But if you put them out, you're in trouble. But you know the beautiful part about that? These Edomites are ready to pick up arms. Now we got to defend ourselves. Yep. You know what? You know what they say? A dead witness is the best witness. Yep. So if, if, oh, yeah. if you Kill them and then your box truck to say it was. I know they was they were stealing stuff from robbing me and attacking me. Yep. I defended myself. I feel right. right. Yeah, my house. I went to do X, Y, Z. That's right. I had to defend myself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you always say you have to defend yourself if it yep. goes there. No, that's so, what you say in court. But go ahead, brother. No, it's uh, it's people coming back from deployment. People in, that that's serving in the Department of Defense, U.S. military. They coming back from deployment and there's squatters in their crib and they can't do shit about it. Yep. Yeah. So imagine uh, wow. putting your life on the line, serving your wicked ass country just to come back and you have no so over there stealing and killing other people for trying to defend their own. The irony of this. <laughs> there's a lot of iron in that knee. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these owners right now, they, uh, they, wow. they're taking these grants and stuff for these people, these, these, these the uh, immigrants that's coming in and they putting them in their houses for six months. So, but I've been telling a lot of people, why is you doing that? Just what we talking about. After that six months is up, you're not gonna be able to get them people out your house. They're gonna live there for free. Just like you say, hey, you gonna try to put them out, you gonna go to jail. Cause they not letting them people go. They gonna let them stay in your house for free. You got six months worth of money, and after that, you on your own. And you gotta, if you wanna get them out, you gotta have the money to afford to pay to take them to the court proceedings. Yep. My OG just went through to get some nigga out the a crib. It was similar, but not quite the same, but similar. And she couldn't do nothing about it. She had to go through the whole court process. You gotta pay a lawyer, yep. this court fee, all that, just to get them out your shit. Oh. Uh, supposedly, it was happening with Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. yeah motherfuckers yeah. get Airbnb in the state. No, I live in the Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. 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 And they said, I'm going to go to the Shabbat. Shabbat. Go ahead and spot the Michael Jordan mansion, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. 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 Hey. Let them, let, them, let them get at each other, man. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Absolutely. You've been See, but it's true. Bring it out. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 13. He matched Julia. And it says, You are a city by a great river, a center of great commerce, where your end has come, and the thread of your life has been shut. Woo! The power of heaven's armies has taken his vow, and has sworn it by his own name. The, the thread of your life. The thread of your life. Go ahead, it's a lot here. That was heavy. Your city shall be filled with enemies, your fields swarming with locusts, and they will shoot and triumph over you. And they will do. They eat up all your shit. Huh? That's right. That's right. right. That's, that's a heavy scripture. And, and, and the locusts come in, they, they will leave. The, when the locusts come through, it's not leaving no green left behind. That brother's straight sick, ain't it? I know that's uh -huh. that's 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 Junior. That's the master son. And when the scripture says, uh, he appointed your battles that you cannot pass. That's it. Right? So that thread in your life is about to get cut, my buddy. The Lord's gonna cut your wife off. <laughs> when the Lord's about to cut off all the bullshit, yeah. and that's the reason why it's imperative to really ask the most side to hasten the day. Yeah. Right. Scripture say hasten it, and we're supposed to be hasten it. That's it. That's right. That woman told my sister that 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 uh Venezuela emptied out his prisons. And, all, and they also emptied out his psych people that came from Venezuela came from psych wards and prison. And we all saw that video of them dudes you know, that was raping them dudes. Well, one dude was raping the other dude was, well, eating, his was eating, literally eating, eating yeah. his ear. Literally eating his ear. He was getting raped. That was the same person. Right. Same time. Yes. Right. Same person. Damn. Yeah. 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 Elder Lenore showing the safety of the country since 2020 to 2024. Uh, Venezuelan's rate got better after 2023 and 2020. So I wonder why that crime rates went down. They flushed the toilet. And guess what? They go have them same psychopathic, want to rape you, eat your ear, machete welded, hack you to pieces, and that's <laughs> motherfuckers running around the place. Yep. <laughs>
recording right guns when down. the lights go out. With guns. That's it. Right? I'm going to show you somewhere. They got guns now. Yeah, well, they're going to have guns and shit. They're going to they gonna use the gun just to, 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 to get in, and then they're going to pull out the machete. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's no good. That's what they go for. Yeah. Right, these guys prefer to uh, use blades. Hey, Skeletor said, I'll pipe up. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna pipe down either. That nigga gonna pipe up, nigga. <laughs> like I said, Numbers 24 and uh, 20, it says, and when he looked on Amalek, he looked up his parable. He took up his parable. He took, like, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations. That's but, the spirit. Then, right. brother, we about to wrap it up. Yeah, I know, that's right. And that's the spirit. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> it says, uh, It's like, a, and for him to bring this out, if the Lord said he the first of the nations, and this is our arch-ass enemy, you think the Lord is lying? Right. No, the Lord's telling you the truth. That's this is the that's devil. That's this is who you got to fight with, and this is how he's fighting. Right, and if you want to part of this portion, well, remember the scripture that says, the first shall be last, that's it. and the last, last shall, shall be first. first. Right. right. Go ahead, brother, finish it's so it says, and when he took up, uh, took up, like, and when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable. And Amalek is the heads of the Edomites, the, the heads of, uh, 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 of the so-called white man, which are the J double O S S. Chris B, go ahead. And said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he be he perished forever. Ooh, he got very dishonorable, painful destruction. Hey, and that's why the scripture says one of my favorites in that Psalms 92, a brutish man knoweth not, neither doth the fool understand this, when the wicked spring as the grass, and when all of the workers of iniquity do flourish, mm -hmm. it is that they shall be destroyed forever. And, now, and, and Amalek in the Hebrew is Amalek. And Imalak means dweller in a valley. So when the Lord says he's the basis man, he's he's in the valley, which is the between the, it's the which is the lowest spot between two larger sides. Two like like you have a mountain on one side and a mountain on the other side. You have a, what you call a valley and the lowest part. Am Amal Amalak is where people went to die. Exactly. Right. Battles were fought in valleys, not on the mountains. Exactly. Right. And 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 it represents the basis. The lowest yeah. of all creation, as far it, it, they were, I'm, I'm, I'm a lock, and Esau Edom are worse than the dogs. What is what is what's that scripture says? Uh, Job thirty. Yes. He says, uh, "We're not uh, uh, disdain, disdain to set them by the job, uh, the, by the by, by the flocks of his dogs. Why? Because they have sex with animals. They made porno uh, pop, uh, popular. They made having sex with dogs fashionable. Okay, and and this is what the fuck. This is who. This is uh. This is this is exactly who we dealing with. And since we talk about Amalek, I always say he reminds me a lot of Lamech, man." Because Lamech, he, what did he, he made a song. He was singing. He was. It was the first rap video, man. Right, right, All right. He was right. basically saying. He said, "Hey, if if uh, if uh, my, my my father uh, Cain be avenged seven uh, seven times, I get seven. I shall be avenged seventy times seven. And and he reminds me a lot of Lamech because he's not an average Edomite. And he didn't you, make it on the art. Hey, ask Murph. You can go to a, that is right. Hey, man. ask Murph. You can go to a bar, smack the shit out of Edomite, a regular Edomite. You can't even talk about them niggas, man. Right." You know? right. Right. Yeah, you can't even talk Amalek. about Amalek, man. Hey, that's what the, that's yeah, but if you get to put your hands on Amalek, it's an extra blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but that's what the, 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 the saying goes. Hey, you want to know who's ruling the world? Hey, figure out who you can't talk about. Yeah. 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 And if you talk about them, then you gonna get a you you anti this you know. Hey, you got a problem. Right, right, right. Cancel. I got a, um. Well, I'm gonna let that brother go. You're sharp. You're sharp and hold. Well, we gonna we gonna well, wrap it up, brother. This, this last three scriptures. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Uh, we gonna in that order. You first, brother. Yeah, the, the brother brought out uh, Numbers 24 and uh, 19 or 20. They say uh, Amalek was the first of the nations. God. That's right. This is uh, Job 18 and Job 18 and 20. No, yeah, Job 18 and 16 to 17. Speak up. It says his roots shall be dried up uh, 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 beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. 
he shall have no name in the streets. Woo! Every Edomite will soon be cut off. That's it. They will be Obadiah 1 and 18. That's it. That's right. They must be cut off. They must be put to death. Death, man. They must die. And their children, the Jewish generation, are already ashamed of being what right. they are. Right. Complaining to bring down their fathers off. Mentioning that nigga, uh, <laughs> famous rich, he was uh, coming against the Amalek. And going into their fucking shit, talking shit, and to the synagogues. Yeah, he was in the synagogues talking shit, saying we the real Jews. On King David, on King David. But he was saying some truth, and they tried to attack his ass and start on some bullshit. Because you can't just come against them and like they ain't going to do shit. Now they like, nah, get this nigga the fuck up out of here. No, they was trying to hit him in all kinds of shit. Yeah, man. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up, brother. Yes, sir. Speak up. This is uh, Shemai. Exodus 17 and 16, where he says, Because Yahweh have sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Right? And so, wait a minute. So, Lord said he's the first of the nations, and we're going to war with him from generation to generation. So, from the time Esau Edom came on the scene, Israelites and Esau, from the womb, it is before we came out the womb, all right? And you want to go back before the flood with, uh, with, with Cain and Abel, all right? We've been fighting with Amalek, Esau, Edom, and it's not going to change. It's not going to stop until your how, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakadash, rises up to the prey and gives us the power. Because the Lord is going to, he said, the saints shall take the kingdom. That's right. right. He said, with thee, you will be my battle axes and weapons of war. He said, prepare ye the ambushes. And it starts with this truth. Our warfare ain't carnal. We all, we reading right now is words and scriptures yeah. of our father. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's ambushing their ass, destroying their ass, and making, just like the battle of Jericho. We walked around Jericho seven times, and then just all we did was shout. What well, we doing right now is shouting the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and publishing the name and the gospel of the Lord and it's taking Esau down just like fucking Barry. Right. That's right. right. That's right. Go ahead, Murphy. Oh, kind. You know, and I'm gonna read this. And the elder, the elder Uriah had quoted some of this earlier, but um, I'm gonna read this. You know, and, and I'm gonna tell you, brothers. I've been doing this for a long time, man. And let me tell y'all, bro. Every year, it's a nigga that don't make it. That's right. Bro. So all that kickling and shit, it's cool. I don't like it at all. I, I really want all y'all to shut the fuck up. But I'm gonna tell you something, man. Every year we do this, it's a nigga that's not here no more, man. Hey, quit. Everybody that was here yesterday, the last, they ain't here. A good five or six bros. They ain't fucking here, man. This ain't no joke, man. That's right. And, and if you if you don't understand what the elder just, just said right here. If they don't, they fucking stupid. I'm going to read. Malachi 3 and 16. Then they fear Yahweh. Then they that fear Yahweh spake often to one another. And Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him that feared the Lord. That feared Yahweh. Salakim. And that thought upon his name, and they shall be mine, said Yahweh of hosts. And in that day I will make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man that spared his own son that served him. Right. Nobody else. Come on, y'all. Come on. It said, and then they shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that served Yahweh and him that served him not. That's what we at. That's right. And just all man. That's right, bro. And, and and the elder spoke a truth. We've been in this truth here in Chicago for almost 15 to 20 years. And I promise you, every single year around this time, there's people who fall the fuck out and don't come back no more. That's right. They're gonna fucking die. And if and if and you I wanna be there to kill every single one of them fucking back. That's right, brother. No, no, and the scriptures back you up, Murph, because it says, no doubt they would have continued with us. Right. So you know what you're in, 
Know what you're a part of and what you've been assured of who has been teaching you this gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Not sitting on some fancy ass chairs and thrones as Sakari doing this dumbass year. Not riding on horses as motherfucking Nate did last year. Not done to this dumb fucking debaucheries and madness and doing all kind of shit. All right? We teach the gospel of the Lord directly and correctly and humble ourselves before the Lord and humble ourselves before one another and all we do is do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what we teach. That's how we live and that's all we fucking hey, need, man. Well, you gotta have men standing around, you know, with, with, with you know, AR-15s and AK-47s. Bulletproof you know, vest. Like, that, that's, that's, you don't have no faith in the Lord, man. That's right. All right? At all. You know? You niggas ain't gonna kill shit unless you die. You niggas got it. And and then though, guess what? And and they're probably gonna be some of the first ones to get smoked Mm -hmm. That's Uh, it. Always when 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 chaos break out because (laughs) one last scripture, man, we're gonna wrap it up. Give me give me second edge of sixteen seventeen. We gonna we gonna we gonna find out who the man of the Lord is. And I'm gonna tell you, it ain't gonna be somebody who said that Paul Paul is not a man of the Lord. Come on, man. That's for sure. So 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 somebody was smart enough. To outsmart the Lord and put some wicked ass scripture in the Bible, even the Lord said book that the Bible was book on top of book. Come on, bro. And the Lord says that the, the Bible was purified, the word of God was purified seven times, man. But but somebody else was able to sneak in some, some off ass doctrine. Because if Paul was off, that means everything he taught is off. Every, that means uh, Yahweh Shah is off because he backed up Paul. That means uh, Peter was off because he backed up Paul. That means Luke, who wrote Acts, was off because he backed up Paul. So Paul everybody lacking. Come on, man. And snuck in some other way. Gotcha. Bring it out, y'all. I got yeah. you. This is uh second Edges chapter 16, <coughs> verse uh uh 73. It says, Then shall uh they be known who are my chosen. There it is, man. And man. they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. So, you know, in, in a quick minute, very soon, we're gonna find out who the two men are gonna That's right! Right. 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 right! Especially when that digital, when that digital thing hit. And people got to take that thing and insert it into their body. Yes, sir. All right, so with that, man, we're going to give all praises, all honor, and glory. Until you